going on, world? I am DJ Swaver, and I want to welcome you all to another episode of Ottoman Box Openings. I know lately I've been showing a lot of love to Adidas. I mean, can you blame me? They're pretty much the only brand that's been coming out with anything that's fire lately. But we finally got something different for the channel. On today's episode, I'm going to be opening the box to a general release that is on par with a lot of collabs. It is the Saucony Originals Ether Grid SD. Now, this shoe may have the moniker of Ether, but on social media, this shoe has really been described everywhere as rose gold. Whether it's Ether or rose gold, all I know is when I saw the pictures of this shoe, I knew I had to cop. Now, before on my channel, I pretty much made my stance that... I don't really give a damn about backstories to certain shoes. But a few of y'all have reached out to me and told me that backstories are what make shoes cool sometimes. So, you know what? To please the masses, I'm going to give y'all the background of this shoe. Inspired by Saucony's roots in Boston, the Grig SD takes on the appearance of the gold dome of the operating amphitheater in the Bullfinch building in Massachusetts General Hospital. It was the site of the first public demonstration of the use of inhaled ether as a surgical aesthetic, otherwise known as Ether Day. What the fuck? People used to inhale ether as an aesthetic back in the day? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they don't do that anymore. I've never even used the word ether in a sentence before. The only time I've used the word ether is to talk about the name of the track that Nas came out with during his beef with Jay-Z. It's pretty dope that Saucony being from Boston is using this sneaker to pay homage to the history of Boston. I'm just glad I finally get to show love to something that's not Adidas. I was starting to feel like I was becoming an Adidas zombie. The walking Adidas. Lord knows I love runners. Any chance I get to show love to Saucony, Asics, Diodore, I'm all in. They normally have better quality, better execution on the concepts, and more comfortable shoes at a lower price point. What's not to like about that? Enough about all that, man. Let's get to this box opening. Yeah. And here we have the Saucony Originals Ether Grid SD, but a lot of people have been calling it Rose Gold. I'm going to go with the moniker of Ether just because I'm just still tripping off the fact that people used to inhale that as an aesthetic in the hospital. That shit is crazy, man. It comes in a generic Saucony box. I thought with this shoe looking more like a premium general release that it would be in maybe the black pullout box or the red pullout box, but no, it is in the original Saucony box. I mean, it doesn't matter to me, man. As long as the shoe is fly, you're not wearing the box. All it's going to do is go in your closet. I had to go with a size US 12. Now, I normally wear a size 13 in shoes, but I didn't see any 13s anywhere get released in the shoe. That was kind of weird, man. If you saw a 13, then you must have been looking somewhere that I wasn't. Because every major boutique that I saw that had this shoe, the only size they went up to was a 12. The good thing about Saucony is they tend to run big, so sometimes you're able to size down and the shoe fits perfect. I'm hoping that is the case with these because based off the pictures that I saw, I do not want to have to send these shoes back. I want to be able to floss these shoes a sap. Being that I'm a man of the people, I have been listening to y'all's suggestions. A lot of people hit me up after the video is over and ask me like, yo, how did the shoe fit? Being that the last part of the video is the on foot section, I don't really get a chance to tell y'all how the shoe fits. So from now going forward, down in the description box, I'll leave a detailed description on how the shoe fit me after I tried it on. I hope that helps y'all in the future. Maybe it'll help you with purchases to know if you want the shoe or if you don't want the shoe. I'm just here to help y'all out. Enough about all that. Let's get to this box opening right now i am super hyped about this you got the regular Saucony beige paper nothing special about that oh my god jeez hold on baby let me get this shoe out right now hold on man let me reintroduce these real quick oh my god damn this is the Saucony original Ether Grid SD, better known as the Rose Gold. I see why they call this shoe Rose Gold because this shoe is definitely rose golded out. This patent leather is crazy. One thing about Saucony, they always come with the best materials for a super low price point. This shoe was only $130. That shit is crazy, man. Like, you don't get that anywhere else with any other brand. Not even Asics. Definitely not Diodora. If this was on a Diodora, this shoe would easily be $250 to $300. But no, these fly ass materials are on a $130 sneaker. Saucony, props to y'all. Oh, that's why I rock with y'all. You got this gorgeous rose gold patent leather. 
I, I will say this though, that is definitely gonna uh, crease as soon as you wear them. But you know, I don't give a damn. You're supposed to wear your kicks anyways, man. A crease, all that does is build character to a shoe if you ask me. You have the a perforated rose gold toe box, patent leather on the toe capping going around the um, toe box. You have a almost like cream or beige midsole, patent leather sockety sign. The use of the patent leather in the regular leather is crazy on this shoe. Uh, you got patent leather going all the way around the heel counter. You got the embossed, the embossment of uh, the Saucony embossed and the patent leather going around your heel counter. On the inside of the shoe, you have the patent leather going back around into the Saucony symbol. You Underneath, you have that rose gold leather. And of course, patent leather on the uh, uh, inside of the toe capping again. The cream or beige midsole on the inside as well as the outside of the shoe. I mean, this shoe is freaking crazy i i'm just dumbfounded right now not your regular rope laces it's almost made of like a twill you even got rose gold on the lace tips i mean that shit is crazy right there this might be the dopest thing out of the whole shoe you have the Saucony symbol in rose gold embossed on the tongue Saucony outdoes himself a lot this isn't even a collab this is a general release this shit is crazy man like this shoe is not supposed to be this fly for 130 dollars and the crazy thing about this shoe is it's still sitting on websites like it's not sold out anywhere i don't understand like people are sleeping on this i'm thinking the main thing that kept this shoe from selling out was because um the Yeezy release, they, they released at a lot of places this past weekend. And, of course, everybody's mind was on getting Yeezys, which, you know, that's just what it is. I don't know why sneakers, why sneaker um, companies release any type of shoe on a weekend that a Yeezy releases because it's not going to get any love. And this shoe definitely should have got more love than it did. I'm telling y'all right now, man, hop on this shoe. This is a head turner for sure. Like, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You walk down the street in this shoe, and you might cause some wrecks. For real. The left shoe is the same as the right shoe, so I don't need to really explain it. I'm almost scared to wear it. You ever had a shoe that's so clean, that you're like, man, I don't want to mess this shoe up. Insides of the shoe, you got that premium soft leather inside in the inner lining of the shoe, as normal with a lot of Saucony's. I don't know. Like, who is their leather supplier that where they can put this dope-ass leather on everything? and the shoe is only $130. Like, what kind of pigs are y'all killing? One thing about Saucony, uh, you know, in the past, they had quality control issues, but it seems like lately, they've been trying to step their game up on their quality control. You don't see as many glue stains. I see a couple of snags right there and the stitching, but I mean, that don't that's not shit to me. All you need is a pair of scissors and clip that down. Like, who's really look, looking at your stitching like that? This shoe makes me want to go get some ether and inhale it. Not even gonna lie to you. Like, where's the ether? Let me inhale that shit and you could take out my kidney or something. Sockany, y'all did yourself on this one, man. I'm telling you right now. If this is what y'all got in store for 2017, I'm all in. Let me know how y'all feel about this shoe down in the comment section. Are you liking it? Are you loving it? Me personally, I'm loving this shoe. Everybody that knows me knows I love bright out of the box shoes because those are the shoes that are going to get people coming up to you asking you like yo what are those not in a bad way not like what are those but you know damn what are those bro on a scale of one to ten i'm giving this shoe a solid nine i know y'all are gonna be like that's a high score for a socking but bro look at this shoe it deserves it. Trust me. This shoe is fly as hell. Might be my best pickup of 2017 so far. I know we're only in February, but a lot of heat has already came out. And this is at the top of that chain for me. And if you haven't uh, seen these anywhere or don't know where to look for these, I'll post a, a few websites down in the description below that still have stock. I mean, I've seen a few boutiques with like basically a whole size run, which is crazy to me. This is the Saucony Grid SD ether or rose gold if you haven't already smash that thumbs up button smash that like button for me right now and if you haven't already definitely subscribe 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 and when you subscribe hit that little bell beside the subscribe button so whenever i post a video you'll know automatically when that goes up on my youtube channel i hope y'all like what y'all saw today we got more heat coming in the future trust me stay tuned once again i am dj swaver this is another episode of ottoman box openings and until next time peace